In our reading of this day in Baptist history on May 3rd, we read concerning a former slave who had a real dream, John Barry Meacham. After I did this reading, I did a little search on this gentleman, and I thought it was well worth uh, giving you the video that follows this concerning his life. May this video be a blessing to you to continue on in serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Demetrius Bryant, Director of Operations. I'm working on my 47th year of employment here at Bellefontaine Cemetery. I want to talk to you a little bit about John Barry Meacham. Meacham was a businessman, an American pastor, an educator, and a founder of a church in St. Louis. Meacham was born into slavery in the state of Virginia. His owner took him to when they migrated to North Carolina and then to Kentucky. Meacham learned several trades, including carpentry. At the age of 21, Meacham earned enough money to purchase his freedom. And soon afterwards, he purchased his father's freedom. By then, Meacham had married an enslaved woman, Mary. Mary Meacham's owners took her when they migrated to St. Louis. Meacham also purchased her freedom. Afterward, he moved to St. Louis to be near her. In St. Louis, Meacham met a white Baptist missionary, John Mason Peck. With Peck, Meacham started the African Church of St. Louis, later to be named the First Baptist Church of St. Louis. Meacham taught religious and secular classes to both free and enslaved people. After being ordained, Meacham constructed a separate building for his church and school he called the Candle Tallel School, which he charged $1 in tuition for those who could afford it. The state of Missouri passed the ordinance banning education for all black people, and Meacham had to close his school. Meacham and his wife, Mary, also gained, helped enslaved people gain their freedom by supporting them through the Underground Railroad. Meacham also took some by boat across the Mississippi River to the free state of Illinois. Meacham purchased and freed 20 enslaved people and he trained them in carpentry and also in other trades so that they might earn their freedom. Meacham died in his poor pit and was buried here at Bellefontaine Cemetery. Come by and take the self-guided tour at Bellefontaine Cemetery, West Florida, 4947 West Florida, St. Louis, Missouri, and see where John Barry Meacham was laid to rest.